Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to implement simple auto encoders in PyTorch. So basically what we will do is we will first need to go to the PPT. So auto encoders look something like this. This part here before the red layer. So this is a simple neural network. Okay, simple neural network. Here you can see two layers are there. Uh, the first one is the big one and the second one is the smaller one. So this is called the encoder. The left hand side is called the encoder, which basically takes an image. In this case, we will be using the MNIST data set. It will take the image. We will obviously flatten it first. This is a, uh, this is a uh, two dimensional image uh, in the grayscale. First, we will flatten it to one dimension and then pass it to the single layer, first layer. And then it will go to the second layer. This basically is the bottleneck layer. Here is where actually the power of auto encoders comes okay then what will happen is we will then be passing that uh, whatever is there to the next layer and this total this part is called the decoder layer and the thing that we have to do is at the end we will be having the same uh, digits so whatever was found over here uh, whatever was given over here will be tried to reconstruct over here okay so again what we are going to do we have we have this uh, encoder then this is the bottleneck layer because um, this is where you know the uh, let's say this is 7 uh, 784 that is 28 cross 28 it has been reduced to we will have this as 2 which basically means 2 dimensions and from again from 2 dimensions it will be uh, broadcasted to uh, 784 not broadcasted basically uh, linear transformations will take place and it will be uh, 784 and again we will have this same image that will be generated. Now what we are going to do is when once this network is fully trained, this particular section is removed. Uh, this encoder layer is removed. So what will have? We will remove the encoder. Now only we will be using the decoder. Why? Because now we will be using it to generate new samples. Uh, in the next to next video, we will be doing VAE that is variational auto encoders. There you will see we will be actually able to generate plausible images. Here we will have some problems. We will see, but we will still be able to generate images. Okay. So what will happen? Uh, you will give some values in the bottleneck layer and you will have new digits. That is digits that are not in the uh, data set. Okay. So let's get started. So we'll first import the basic libraries and then we are going to import the data set. So I'm going to say train data set is equals to torch vision um, dot data sets dot mnist then we are going to say root data train equal to true download equal to true and we are also going to have a uh, transform so we are going to say transform is equals to transforms see the s is there dot to tensor okay so we will use this transform uh, I'm going to say here transform is equals to transform and then copy this paste in the next line and we are going to say here valid data set for validation or let me just paste the whole thing. Okay. So here what I have to do, I have to change this train to valid. So I'm going to say valid. All of this remains the same. We are going to say train equal to false. So this is well, basically this is called the test set. Here I am calling the validation set. Uh, rest everything remains the same. So we will hit shift and enter. So this ideally should download the data set. As you can see the data set has been downloaded. Let me close this. Now what we need to do is we need to define the data loader. So I am going to say train underscore dl for train data loader is torch.utils data loader. Okay. And then what we are going to do, we are going to say train underscore data and batch size. I'm going to keep it as batch size. I'm going to keep as hundred. Okay. So first we'll have only the train data set. Okay. We'll not use the data. Uh, we'll not use the validation data set. Now let me write the model. So first I'm going to say the encoder part. So encoder part, if you remember was uh, this part, the first part. Okay. And this will be in the center so i'm going to say nn uh, i haven't imported torch.nn so i'm go i'll go here i'll say import torch.nn as nn then shift and enter here i'm going to say module 
let's scroll this a bit yes so i have to write here def init self and i'm going to say here um, the input size so i'm going to say input size 28 cross 28 and then i also have the hidden size 1 hidden size 1 let's keep it as 128 and then hidden size 2 hidden size is 2 uh, hidden size 2 let's keep it to 16 and that z dimension z dimension is basically your the red part that you saw over here that is the bottom layer. here i have only two layers but in this code i am using three i'll be using three layers okay then let's say super init okay now first we'll define the layers so i'm going to say fc1 is going to nn dot linear it is going to get the input size that is the flattened image and then it will be converting it to hidden size one let me just copy this over here and then paste three times or rather two times we are going to say fc2 and here instead of input size we will have hidden size one we'll have hidden size one and here we will have hidden size two and here we will have hidden size two uh, hidden size 2 and here we will have z dimension which is basically 2 so as you can see we are only going to have two dimensions in the uh, in the hidden layer or rather in the uh, bottleneck layer lastly um, I don't think we need anything else or we will say okay relu and in dot capital R E L U relu and let's now write the forward function so forward function is basically the function that will take the various inputs so let's say out is equals to or let's just keep it as x only self dot fc1 and then we'll pass the x we will also pass it through the relu activation function so i'm also going to say relu okay now copy the entire thing paste it two times now instead of fc1 fc2 and fc3 now instead of relu over here what you can do you can pass it through torch dot tan h tan h or you can also leave it i'll just remove it over here okay will not have anything so lastly we will return x and then hit shift and enter okay so let's copy this the entire thing and let's write the decoder so instead of encoder we will say decoder and input size remains same or we will say this is output size now okay output size because this will be as our output so obviously we also have to change here out output size okay uh, hidden dimension will be from here we will have hidden size is 2 here we will have 2 here we will have 1 okay my bad so here you have to write z dimension so z2 hidden size 2 hidden size 2 is 16 then from there we will have hidden size 2 to hidden size 1 that it will be it will be upscaled from 16 to 128 and here from hidden size 1 to we'll have output size output size okay and lastly instead of just leaving it here put put okay output output size lastly over here what we are going to do is we are going to say torch dot sigmoid reason i'll tell you in a second so the reason is this transform over here dot two tensor it will take all the images and it will transform all the values from 255 because it was a grayscale image and all the values were from 0 to 255 now this transforms over here will transform it to 0 to 1 okay ideally you can also do normalize and then you know you can do that also that's not a problem i think in gans we will be doing it but here we can just do this much and get away with it okay so that's why we use sigmoid why because since our input values were from 0 were between 0 and 1 even sigmoid will convert that whatever output value is there it will convert it to the range 0 and 1 okay so that is the reason for having sigmoid so let me now instantiate the class or basically first we'll have the device okay right now i'm just running it on a cpu because i'm coding but while i'll be running i'll be running it on gpu so i'll say torch dot device cuda if torch dot cuda dot is available else cpu 
so let's say we are i'm using the free version of colab so i might not get the device so it doesn't matter because we will indeed run it on cpu okay so let me now instantiate the encoder and decoder so i'm going to say encoder i have passed in all the values so i'll not be passing anything device device and then dec is equals to decoder dot to device so you have the encoder and the decoder right now i'm going to write the loss function loss function is nn dot mse loss okay so we will be using the mse loss and then we are going to have optimizer of enc that is a uh, optimizer for the encoder i'm going to say torch dot optim dot adam adam i'm going to say enc dot parameters and learning rate let it be whatever is there 0 0.01 i think optimizer dot dec for the decoder torch dot optim dot adam and i'm going to say dec dot parameters okay let me hit shift and enter now we are ready to write, write the training loop so first i'll say train loss because this will be using to see the loss now i'm going to say number of epochs i'll be keeping it to 200 we need some a good amount of epochs so for epoch in in okay in range num of epochs okay first i'll do is first what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the images so i'm going to say images comma labels ideally we don't need the label so i'll leave it here so train underscore dl train underscore dl okay so images will be sent to device if we get the device if we don't get it that is also fine okay now i know the problem is images are in the form uh, images are in the shape uh they are in the shape batch size that is 100 comma 1 comma 28 comma 28 this is the size of image because we haven't flattened what i generally want or what i want in this case is to be 100 comma 28 comma uh, 28 into 28 okay so this is what i want but the images are of this format so in order to get that what i'm going to do images is equals to images dot two dot flatten and we are going to give one so every any dimension after the first or from the first that is from one two three all these this dimension is zero dimension at the batch size this dimension is one this dimension is two and this dimension is three so any dimension after one that is 1 28 and 28 will be flattened so this will become uh, 100 will be kept that's why 100 will be kept and all of this will be multiplied so 1 into 28 cross 28 uh, it will become 28 cross 28 because 1 is nothing 1 is 1 multiplied by anything is 1 so this will change it to this size 100 co uh, 100 comma 28 cross 28 or 784 okay so now i have to pass the i'll get the latent feature or z dimensions so i'll get the latents is equals to enc and i'm going to pass in the images okay and then finally here what we are going to do so this is what we'll get from the encoder so if you remember this is what we will get from the uh, to say your bottleneck layer okay this is what we'll get from the bottleneck layer and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say output is equals to pass that latent into the decoder so if you remember um, whatever we got here was passed to this decoder right so it is passed to the decoder latents now i have to find the loss so loss is loss function and then i have to find the loss between outputs and uh, images because uh, images are again flattened so output and images let's see if it works or not in in a second and lastly i'll i'll say here train epoch loss yes so i'm going to say train epoch loss so every epoch what loss was there so here i'm going to say train epoch loss um plus equal to loss dot cpu dot d dot detach dot numpy okay so this is going to be our loss calculated over here now I need to do the back propagation. So optimizer enc dot zero grad. Okay, copy this, paste it. Instead of enc, we are going to say dec. 
then loss dot backward now again we'll copy here optimizer enc instead of zero grad we will write step and again over here we'll copy and paste instead of enc we'll say dec and instead of zero grad we'll say step okay so ideally this should run and at the end of the epoch what i'm going to do train loss dot append train underscore epoch underscore loss so let's try to see if this runs for uh, one iteration okay so here i had forgotten to write uh, three okay here i had to write fc3 instead of fc1 okay so please correct it so hit this The same thing over here even fc3 will be there okay instead of fc1 so same problem in both the things so i hope it works now let me remove this print statement which has written in between don't you don't have to write so one more time okay so it works now let's go and train this model so i'll have to remove the breaks okay and also i have to start the gpu so let's see if i get the gpu or not so i'm going to go and hit here run all so finally this has run for 200 epochs as i had printed uh, some time back so we are going to say train underscore loss and uh, this will come to 200 now let me go and plot it but before that i have to expand I have to import the matplotlib library. So we are going to say import matplotlib.py plot as plt. So this will import the matplotlib library. And now what we are going to do is we are going to say plt.plot and then we are going to say train underscore loss. So hopefully it should be a decreasing function. As you can see, the loss has been, as you can see, the loss has decreased. Now what we need to do is first plot the entire um, uh, whatever the latent space we have got so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to say let's have values and we will say torch dot zeros now how many images are there so train data set dot data dot shape of zero and all of them will have I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing right now. Okay. You might not, it might not make sense right now, but uh, don't worry. I'll explain. So two is for the dimensions. So we had only two latent dimensions and how many examples of images we had, we had 60,000. So this will give us 60,000. So this, I'm just going to Im use it as a container of all zeros. Okay. Of shape 60,000 comma two. Now I also want the labels. So labels is equals to red. Let me just say all labels. All labels, um, let me just keep it, um, let me just keep it like this one, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is for images, images, comma labels. Now we need the labels in train underscore dia. But before that, I need to do torch dot no grad because we are just going to plot the graph. Okay, so here and in train dear, uh, you can also say model dot eval, but you don't need because you don't have those uh, batch normalizations and other things. So for this, what we are going to do now is we are going to say images and we are going to images dot to device. So we are going to put it on the device. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to first tackle the labels. I'll show you what we are doing. Labels dot shape. I think it will come hundred cross nothing. But let me just see. Okay. Yes. So it has come hundred. So I'll just from labels. I'll just make it numpy so because I just wanted to append it in the list. Uh, is it a list? Let me just see the type. Uh, let me convert it to a list. Hmm. 
so i'm going to say here uh, all labels dot extend okay so this will extend all the labels for us but here for values what i'm going to do is i'm going to first pass all of these images through the encoder so this will give us the latents so i'll be passing the images okay why this is extra or something one two three one two three okay seems like there was a mistake now that mistake has been corrected okay so latents are here but if you print the shape of latents you should get 100 cross 2 okay want to see okay some error okay i did not flatten it my bad so images have to be images dot flatten flatten at one fine so 100 cross 2 so what i'm going to do is now i am going to i am going to take you see values were there i will now change those values basically what i am going to do is um, or let me just keep it to none okay so if i am if i am saying so if values is none all labels or uh, values values is equals to values is equals to latents okay else if that is not the case what we are going to do is we are going to do a torch dot b stack i hope you already know what b stack means so we are going to say values comma latents okay so that should work and let me run it for all of them okay so that has run now let me see what is our output what is output so values dot shape first let me print this this should be 60,000 comma 2 yes so you have 60,000 comma 2 and all labels all um, yeah all labels is going to be also 60,000 so the reason of doing this is just give me a second the reason of doing this is you know that labels are not arranged so if you see all labels you can see the labels are not arranged okay this is in the different format you can see it's not 0 1 2 it's not arranged in an ascending or a descending order okay you can see 0 is there then 3 is there then 7 is there then 3 is there so we need to know where each and every image is and what is the accompanying label so for the first image let me just show it to you for the first image give me a second the label is 5 you see the first out, uh, the first element is 5 which means for the first image here the uh, label is 5 but for the second it is 0 so we need to see where each one of them is okay so i'm going to what i'm going to do now is i'm going to plot this okay so first i'll go and print this c map or basically have the c map so if you print it you can see this will be our uh, basically there are 10 i'll show you right now it's just saying under bad over but here we'll have numbers so this might correspond to zero this for one this for two then i'm going to uh, convert both of these all labels is already in a list format so i have to convert it to a numpy format so all labels is equals to np dot array all labels and then the problem with uh, values is that it is in the torch format so i have to convert it into the numpy format okay np is not defined fine i have to get the uh, numpy also so import numpy numpy as np and here if you run this we should have our okay so it is not there on this one so we need to go back a little okay so instead of latents just latents we have to convert it to cpu we have to get this to cpu because we are having and then run it again okay so this has run now we need to convert this to numpy so okay fine 
now what i'm going to do i'm going to plot a scatter plot so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass the values and i'm going to pass the values of all of zero as x coordinate values of um, all of one so this zero is for first column this one is for second column remember we had only two c is going to be all labels all labels and then c map is going to be c map okay so i'm going to show it to you so as you can see this kind of a uh, weird shape has come now obviously i'm going to show you some other shapes over here uh, you can see which you get but the important thing is remember this is initialized as 0 and 0 so you can see most of these are at so here it is at 0 and this is here it is at 0 okay so um, now if I have to plot the color bar I'm going to say color so that you can see which uh, color corresponds to which image so I have to say PC and then here also PC So as you can see, the bright ones are the nines, the darkest ones are zeros and see all the colors are here, all the um, mappings are here and all the yeah color mappings are here and the graph is over here. Now what we are going to do, we are going to make new images. For that we need to find the means, okay. So let's say for example, we are going to have all means and we'll have an empty dictionary, okay. So for i in range 10, because we know we have only 10 numbers, then what I'm going to do is, um, let's say we have all the labels, right? So we're going to say indices. We are going to find the, all the indices and p dot r where we are going to find all the indices where uh, all labels was equal to i. So for example, the first one will be uh, i equal to 0 so where all the indices were equal to 0 so if you just print the ints and then break it you will get the indices where all of them were okay all labels all labels double equal to i yeah so you cannot have one single equal to you have to have double equal to so at the first position you had zero if second uh, 21st position you had zero so these are the indices now what i need to do i need to get the latents so uh, num latents so num latents for the uh, latents for the number is going to be values of ints okay so now we have all the latents for the ints so we are going to have the mean what is going to be the mean we are going to say num latents uh dot mean access equal to zero now let me just print it just to see that we are doing the right thing yes so as you can see all of those zeros whichever number were there how many of them were there let me just write num latents dot shape So 5,000, uh, okay, you can squeeze it also over here. Just give me a second. I'll squeeze it, S -Q -U -E -Z -E. squeeze this one. So that unidimensional will, yeah, one dimension will move, but there are no, nothing will happen because this is the same thing. So we had 5,923 images of zero, okay? And uh, all of them had two. Uh, yeah, two latent dimensions. So what I did, I did a mean across the first axis and I got this number. So this is the mean of number zero. So I'm going to write, I'm going to write all means of i, which is zero, is equals to, uh, is equals to this. So I'm going to say mean of zero, comma mean of, mean of one. Okay, so I'm going to do it for all of them. So if you print all the means, so we are almost done. One more step is there. So you can see mean of zero, mean of one, mean of two, mean of three, up to mean of nine. So let's try to create some digits. Okay. So I'm going to say, um, 
let me enc and i'm going to give them torch dot tensor or uh, not enc dec because we have to get it from the decoder right i'm going to write all means of zero and i hope i have to change the dimensions um let me just see okay just for a second what this will give us uh, if you print the shape to um, if i give it none and then print the shape it should give me one comma two hopefully and that should do my work so if i'm going to pass this in here or basically if i'm going to just increase the okay just increase the dimension here and then send it to device dot to device let me see if i can get an answer yeah so if i print the shape i should get some okay yeah so now what i do is i just do it cpu and here with torch dot no grad so basically the pytorch knows that we are not going to train anything then we are going to convert it to cpu and uh, do we need numpy uh, i don't think so we don't need a numpy because we will be using something else we will be using transforms dot two pil image image and what we are going to pass is we are going to pass bread but we will reshape it to first 1 comma 28 comma 28 as you can see a new zero image has come okay so now if you want to change it for some other let me just write it in uh, this one only okay we will remove this from here delete this cell okay now what you are going to do is we are going to say all means of one as you can see one new image for one has come and if you can also do this for two you can do this for all three four five whatever you can see a new two image has come you can do it for three but sometimes it gives a wrong answer and that is the problem that we will be trying to solve in variational auto encoders okay sometimes three okay you can see for four so these are all new images because these are real numbers these are not there in uh, what to say your data set so as you can see we gave a 4 and we got a 7 okay so sometimes it does create some problems but again 5 will be okay so sometimes some of the values are here and there okay so you don't have to worry in variational autoencoders all of this will be correct so i hope you understood the video and bye